Thank you. Police say a woman fought off a man with a gun during a robbery attempt earlier today, and police shot the man moments later. This happened this afternoon at Super Paw near Charleston and Rainbow. The woman escaped without harm, and police shot the man after he refused to comply with orders. The suspect is at UMC tonight. Now, as for that young woman who made the daring escape, her bold move paid off. And there is training for that exact situation. 8 News Now's Darlene Melendez joins us near Rainbow and Russell with some more insight. Darlene? Well, Brian and Denise, we're outside of Nomad Krav Maga Gym, and here instructors teach what started as an Israeli military type of self-defense. Now it's been adapted for everyday civilian use. It teaches its students how to get out of those dangerous situations using simple techniques and their gut feeling. You're right, control, strike, hit. For years, Shannon Langwell has taught students Krav Maga, <laughs> teaching them how to get out of high-threat scenarios. <laughs> One of his specialties, handgun hostage training. What I'm gonna do is called the Krav Maga handcuff with this hand. From here, I'm gonna break the gun out of his hand, rip it away, and then I need to create space. He still has me in a headlock. So I'm gonna use my strikes, using my elbows, my elbows, elbows, maybe kick to the knee. Langwell yeah. says try to take the weapon and immediately create space. Something police say one Valley woman did Monday when a suspect attempted an armed robbery at a pawn shop and took her hostage. She was able to pull the gun away. As long as you go with your gut feeling and execute it with full intent, you can't go halfway. You got to go 100% in or you're 100% out. And, uh, you know, she did a really good job. It's awesome. It's not clear if the woman had any training, but Krav Maga's movements are simple. <laughs> because it's about being able to use them successfully under high stress. That's the thing, most people think it can never happen to me, but you know, I hope it doesn't, but it's better to train for, for something that may or may not happen than to have it happen to you and you have no training. In addition to Krav Maga and kickboxing, even yoga, there's also a kids program that helps them develop all these different qualities. There's also programs for law enforcement. You can le learn more about the programs on their website. And that's nomadkravmaga.com. Reporting live, Darlene Melendez, 8 News Now.